For this next section of finding balance, fluid and strong standing poses, we'll begin in standing, hands in prayer, feet grounded. Then release the hands and step the feet wide across the mat. And with your arms open, and place your feet beneath your wrists. And then turn the toes out 45 degrees and bend the knees into a qigong form called horse stance. Make sure the knees bend out and track the second toes. So lengthen the inner legs so the knees bend and don't collapse inwards. And take the arms back out to the sides, softening the elbows and wrist joints. Release the hands and begin to straighten the legs. And I'll mirror you here again. So turn the left toes in, the right toes out, and bend the right knee. You may stay in the same position with your feet or adjust the stance to be wider. Line up your heels, back heel to front or arch of the front foot. And then begin to exhale and bend your right knee towards the second toe, Virabhadrasana 2. While in the pose, notice your breathing. And also the balance of weight in your two feet and legs. And use your back leg as much as you feel the front. And begin to reverse and take the back arm down, the front arm up. And as you come up, begin to straighten the front leg, shifting the weight back into that back hip so the front leg moves towards straight. And exhale, extend the right arm forward, lowering it down to the leg. Anywhere above or below the knee is good. Keep the front toe slightly bent and outwardly rotated. And top arm reaches up. You can either look towards the top hand or move the gaze forward or down. Whatever is most comfortable for the neck is best. Keep the breathing steady. Sense into what's felt in the pose. Then rooting the feet, begin to bend your front knee and inhale into reverse warrior. Exhale back into horse stance. The toes turn out, the arms reach to the sides. Bend the knees in a way that balances stability and fluidity for you. There's a style of Chinese calligraphic painting called Shan Shui, which means mountains and rivers. Mountains, which are still stable and enduring, are depicted next to streams and rivers, which are fluid, changing, and adaptable. Together, these create a sense of harmonious balance. And release the hands down for a qigong form called separating clouds. The arms cross and lift overhead as you inhale. As you exhale, the hands move out to the sides and back down, palms facing outward like they can separate clouds. Repeat, inhale, arms cross, lifting overhead like you're taking a t-shirt off. Exhale, release down, separating clouds. Once more, inhale, cross the arms and hands fluidly like water. Exhale, separate clouds, feeling the harmonious balance of the legs stable and solid like a mountain. Then to release, begin to straighten the legs, noticing what you feel after that practice. And then turn the toes in. Take the hands behind the back and interlace your fingers. Feel the arches of the feet lifted all the way to the inner groins. As you fold forward, keep the feet and inner legs long and strong. Also strengthen the outer legs, rooting down from the hips to the outer feet and pinky toes. Sense into the release of the head and chest. Can you feel the soft, fluid movement of the breath just here alongside the stability of the legs? And then inhale, lift the head forward, gradually lifting up to standing. 
release the hands and extend the arms out to the sides again. Bend the knees and turn the toes out for horse stance. Take another breath, noticing whether the upper arms and hands can feel soft and the legs strong. And start the second side. Straighten the legs. The right toes turn in, the left toes turn out. Remember, I'm mirroring you here again. On an exhale, bend the front knee toward the little toe side. In Warrior two. can you feel just into the position of the back arm and the back leg? Can you feel whether your shoulders are lifted and tense or whether they can be relaxed? In this pose, invite your chest to soften and begin to access an inner strength. Take one more full breath here. And the back arm lowers as the front arm lifts, drawing into the reverse warrior position. More of a side bend than a back bend. Then as you exhale, shift the weight back into the back hip. You can also place your top hand onto the hip lifting the hip into your hand as you begin to extend the spine and left arm forward toward the horizon line. And once the hand lowers down onto the leg, spread the toes, keep the front leg straight without locking the knee. Lift the top arm toward the sky, align it so that it's in line with the bottom arm, which extends toward the earth. Spread the top fingers, Drawing the two arms into a clear extension from earth to sky. Breathe. So feel free to adjust your neck and head so that you feel more space on the back of the neck. Then breathing in, bend your front knee and reverse the warrior pose. Breathing out, move back into horse stance. Arms are out, toes are turned out the knees bending toward the little toe sides of each foot. Imagine the legs stable like mountains, the arms and breath, soft and fluid like water. Then draw the hands in for another Qigong form. This one's called parting clouds. As you exhale, roll the fingers and wrists in towards your chest, and then inhale the palms forward, metaphorically parting clouds from in front of the chest. Exhale, you draw the hands back in, rolling the wrists. Inhale, move them forward and outward to part clouds. And exhaling back in. Continue a few more rounds like this. And the sun is represented in yoga as well as in qigong by the heart each time imagine you can part clouds from in front of your heart allowing some of the sun's radiance warmth and light to brighten the sky of your own experience and then one more round parting clouds To release, let the palms face the earth as they descend from the chest downward. Simultaneously allow the legs to begin straightening. And the toes turn in, hands on your hips, fold forward, exhaling, letting the head and the heart descend toward the earth. Also let your hands lower to the earth, effortless in the letting go. Dismantle unnecessary tension. Explore a sense of balanced effort in your legs, letting them support the upper body without struggle or strain. Breathe fully, allowing the shoulders to draw up away from the ground. Feel free to place your hands anywhere that's comfortable here. Then inhale, begin to lift your chest up and turn towards the front of your mat, taking your hands around the front foot in the back foot, step it in, feet hips distance wide, exhaling fully into a forward fold. Then inhale, come up, taking the hands and arms overhead. 
and begin to fill. Filling here with a sense of steadiness and fluidity. A harmonious balance of the body, breath, and mind. Aware of just this moment-to-moment -moment experience transpiring right now. And now for a balancing practice. Shift your weight onto your right leg and foot. Spread the toes and keep the knee soft and the joints unlocked. It may mean you bend the right knee a little more than you might normally bend it. And place the other foot either on the ground, resting the heel of the foot on the ankle, or onto the inner leg, somewhere maybe like the inner shin. You can also place the foot on the inner thigh. You'll want to use your left hand to help you position it there. Keep the hips level and balanced. If the foot is inside the thigh, then gently press the heel into the right inner leg. Also press the leg back against the heel. Join your hands in front of the chest. This can help you balance. And then if you're steady, reach the arms to the sides or perhaps overhead. While balancing, soften the buttocks and breathe into the belly. Now take two choices. One is to stay here in tree pose. Two, slide the left foot onto the top of the thigh near the knee. Bend the hips back. Slide the right palm down, left palm into a half prayer in front of the chest. This mudra is called power of the immeasurable gods. It's also an earth mudra which relates to our ability to hold, center, and balance opposing forces. Keep the left foot flexed. That will protect your kneecap. Also keep the crown of the head lifted. It's a tough pose to find balance in. <laughs> and inhale, release, and stand. Exhaling, letting the hands slowly lowering down to clear. Second side, do a subterranean weight shift to the left foot. Same options for the second side, micro bending the left knee and placing the right foot either on the ground, heel resting against the inner ankle, or inside the left leg onto the shin or onto the inner thigh using your right hand to help your foot into that position. Gently press the heel against the inner thigh and the thigh back against the heel. And bring the hands into prayer position. Notice if you can relax the very normal tendency to overuse the abdominals and clench the glutes to balance. Sometimes we exert more effort than we need to. Explore using only as much effort as you need, nothing more. This Qigong concept is called Wu Wei, or effortless effort, action, non-action. Then you're either here or your arms are to the side or overhead. And like on the first side, you have the choice to remain in tree pose or move to the next balance. Right foot flexes as it finds the left thigh near the knee. Hips bend back more than the kneecap moves forward. Your left palm lowers in front of the belly and lower dantian, turn toward the sky. The right hand is in front of the chest in a half prayer. For me, balancing like this is challenging. Even after decades of doing yoga, I still have very flat feet and weak ankles. Whenever I feel disheartened though, I, I practice mindfulness. Remember that I can extend kind, caring attention to my experience, especially when facing difficulty. And to release, step the foot down and lower the hands. And then to finish, bring the palms together in front of the heart, prayer position. When we pray, it's like we're asking for a bit of divine intervention to help us through times that are tough and remind us of our potential to awaken to greater ease and balance in our lives.